Hey everyone, another equipment autopsy. This one's made by Sony. It's another reel to reel. Yes, I've got a lot of them. <laughs> uh, this one's in excellent shape, especially the exterior of it. So you got two speakers, carrying handle. This thing weighs a, like a metric ton as well, I should point out. Um, So you got some uh, audio stuff on the side here, channel 1, channel 2, mic, and uh, auxiliary in. And on the other side, you've got some more connections. You've got speakers, channel 1, channel 2, you got the a controller, which unfortunately I don't seem to have, which kind of sucks. Um, and a line out. And on the back, on the back you've got uh, your tag and what looks like a just like an air vent. So Sony tape recorder made probably. Actually, I'm not sure. I mean, it's possible it could be 1977. I I don't know. I mean, it's possible it could be 63 as well. So I don't really know. Over here, you've got your power compartment with a long cord. You've got some other cables. So this one goes from that to that. There's two of them. And you've got two microphones, and these are heavy. These are made of steel. Sony Dynamic Mic F-97 IMP Low. Independence Low, I guess. So two of those. And that is a fairly deep compartment. You can hide all kinds of stuff in there. Open her up, and the front, of course, carrying handle. So this one's kind of neat because it's good. It's good dual speakers that detach. So that's one speaker, and your cable's just tucked away in there. And your other speaker. Just put those out of the way. And you can see the inside of this is in great shape as well. Sony. It's a TC200, by the way. For those of you wondering the model. So you got channel 1, channel 2 recording. You got channel 1, channel 2 volume. You got your tone control, your power. You got either your speakers or the line out. So if you want to run them to some big amplified speakers, you can run it there. Uh, your instant stop, the, the Panasonic had that. That's I know what it was, I just didn't mention it during that video. Um, it's just fast forward or something like that. You've got your level meters for channel 1 and channel 2. You've got your speed switch. This, this speed switch is also kind of unique, kind of like the Philips Reel to reel, I did an earlier video. This one, you actually have to push down and rotate and back to go up. So it won't rotate unless you literally push down on it and move it over. Kind of a, again, different kind of weird mechanism. And your, uh, your rewind, your forward, so that's actually play position, and fast forward, temporary fast forward. It's actually hard to move. So if you just want to skip ahead just a little bit, you just hold it. But if you want it to keep going, now that's in a permanent fast forward until you stop it. And then it resets it. So kind of neat. I'll plug it in and power it up. This has got a hell of a long cord on it. So 
So there you go. And this has got the timer. So it's on low speed now. So So fast forward just is basically just releasing that and that doesn't change there. Then rewind. That's pretty much it for the outside. So let me just throw on the uh, the same reels I used for the other ones. The Christmas stuff, of course. I like this old stuff. There we go. So this is play. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I gotta hook up one of these speakers. One moment. There, this doesn't have a built-in speaker. There, so you have to run one of the external speakers. So there. And of course that's playing a low speed. Now this one, it won't let you change speeds while it's running. And this should be fast forward, I think. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe this, maybe the Panasonic one's instant was a different thing, but fast forward. So you can actually still hear it on this one, which is kind of neat. <laughs> and permanent fast forward. So you actually lose your audio when you do that, unfortunately. And stop. Rewind. Jeez, I just oiled that. I'll have to uh, have another look at that one. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior. Now this one was a lot harder to take apart than the previous ones. And I don't know why they did it this way, but it's a major pain in the ass. So um, I'm gonna stop the video and uh, get this thing ready and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, here's a look under the top covers. So you've got your, you've got your um, level meters there. And there's all your drive bits. I'll power it up. So your motor's right here. That's your motor. It's spinning right now. So play. So that's now playing. That's stopped. You won't see much with fast forward because it just moves this here away and moves that down. So there's your record, or um, your record and your erasing head and your uh, reading head, I guess. Let's stop and rewind. I didn't have to do really anything to this when I got it. I basically just re-oiled everything. But I will have to uh, find what the squeak was when it was rewinding. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I think this one's worn a bit. But fortunately, I've got some replacement parts for this. So I'll have to try that. Now, the hard part is going to be getting this thing out of here. Because, uh, 
took a while the first time. But at least now I know how to do it, so it should go a lot quicker. Alright, here's the underside. It wasn't actually that hard to get out the second time. So you've got your big ass motor right here. It's a Sony type IC-624. Rated 100 volt, 60, 50 slash 60 hertz. And this one's old enough. It's actually got uh, a bunch of tubes in it, more than the other uh, reel to reels. So you've got a guy down here, another one right there, another one right there, right there, and finally right there. So two of them are 30 A5s, two of them are 62 67s. Or sorry, three of them are 30 A5s, and the other two are 62 67s. And it's your run capacitor for your motor, and this motor does have one. Got your power transformer there, steps the bolts down. And uh, another transformer there. I'm not sure what the second one's doing. And you've got a big electrolytic capacitor there with multiple outputs. 100 plus 100 microfarad, 180 volts, 220 volt surge. And I've just noticed these two adjustments here. I've got no idea what the heck they even do. Or how you even access them. But uh, so uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the a Sony, I think, uh, TC200 reel to reel player. Motor turns really good, which is nice. One of the spare things I got is an actual spare motor, which is really nice to have. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the down if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more. And um, if you want to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description. Um, thanks for watching, everyone.